Before we get started today, I have a share with you. And that share is this. Ladies, I have a huge announcement to make, and that is I'm here to offer a suggestion on how to get men to commit before sleeping together. That's right, how to get men to commit before sleeping together. Now, have you ever heard the term, men, women are the gatekeepers to sex and men are the gatekeepers to commitment? Let me repeat that. Men are the, women are the gatekeepers to sex and men are the gatekeepers to commitment, okay? Now, I want you to think about this. Up until probably 50, 60 years ago, before birth control, it used to be, at least here in the United States, if a man wanted to get laid, he actually had to make the ultimate commitment. He had to marry the person to have sex. That was a, a big commitment because not only are you committing to, you know, especially in the vows of love, honor, cherish, sickness and health, death do us part, it's also a commitment to take care of one another. Repeat that, to take care of one another. There was a vow at the altar, a promise to God, universe, spirit, however you look at it from a spiritual perspective, to actually lean in and make a vow to this person. And you held each other's hands and said in front of a minister, and you said, we are going to commit to one another. And this was before sex. And then everything changed after birth control. And certainly things began changing right around the 60s when the divorce rate took a skyrocketing increase because mate, a lot of couples shouldn't have been married, okay? A lot of people got married that they shouldn't got married. But what happened is now in the last 50 years, the entry level to sex, the entry level to sex is almost non-existent. Basically, a man could take a woman out for a couple drinks, a couple cocktails, even first date sex, second date sex, third date sex. This is happening frequently. And there's literally no trust built with one another. There's no agreement of monogamy. There's no agreement of exclusive dating. There's little or no trust built. There's actually little or no familiarity with the person. And this is happening habitually. And partially, this is skyrocketed because of these devices and these apps, you know, these apps like this one and many others, it's so easy for men to get sex that they don't have to make any commitment going forward. Well, ladies, I'm here to announce something that I want you all to take hold of, okay? And I invite you to be empowered going forward in the dating process. So most of you know my rhetoric. I always say before the penis goes inside the vagina, you should purchase two copies of the book, Eight Dates by Drs. John and Julie Gottman, two copies of this book, and begin reading it together. This is the outline to describe what a healthy, hap the beginning stages of a healthy, happy relationship, to see if you're aligned with one another. To see it's the mechanics to build a relationship together. And I'm here to empower you a little bit deeper. Now, one thing you could do to slow the process, because you might have heard me say, men are the gas and women are the brakes. Men are the gas and women are the brakes. And you might want to suggest before you're physically intimate with a man that you both take an SD, STD test, an STD test. This slows down the biological process of mating. It actually slows it down. And what you find is those men who are the love bombers, those men who are the players, they oftentimes don't want to be bothered with taking an STD test. Certainly a person who's legitimately serious about relationship isn't going to have a problem with it. And certainly there are men who are even in it for the short run that will take the test because there's a benefit to taking the test for them as well, that they know that they're clean. But at least it's a barrier. It's, a, it's like at least it's a barrier to entry, some barrier of entry entry, but we're going to offer something completely different. And I call this the dating vow, the dating vow. So I'm going to put on my trusty glasses and I want you to see it right here. Get him to commit before sleeping together, the vow. Okay. And the vow sounds like this. Okay. Sounds like this. So I'm going to use my name, but you both have to agree to this vow before the penis gets to go inside the vagina. And that vow is I, Jonathan, or I, Penny, or Jade, or Michelle, whatever's listed here, I, Jonathan, agree to explore the process of getting to know you with the intent to declare something serious 
in the next three to six months. Okay, that's the first vow. The second vow is I, Jonathan, agree to be monogamous sexually while we are having regular sex together. An agreement of monogamy. Number three. I, Jonathan, agree to not actively seek to meet or date others while we're in this process of getting to know each other, which includes I will take down my dating profile. I'm going to repeat all these again. I, Jonathan, agree to speak up if this isn't working for me versus pulling back, ghosting, or disappearing. And by the way, you're both saying this to each other. And lastly, I, Jonathan, agree to invest regular time in the process of getting you to know you, which looks like this. We're going to spend three or four days and nights a week together doing shared activities, hobbies, mutual interests, spending time with family and friends, traveling together, teamwork building skills, both in our personal and professional life that leads to either moving in to get moving in together or getting married. That is my vow. So the vow. Again, I'm going to repeat this. I agree to explore the process of getting to know you with the intent to declare something serious. I agree to be monogamous sexually while we're having regular sex together. I agree to not actively seek to meet or date others while we're in the process of getting to know each other. I agree to speak up if this isn't working for me versus pulling back, ghosting, or disappearing. And I vow to agree to invest regular time in the process of getting to know you, which looks like blank. So here's the thing, ladies, 90% of men will bail on this because there are thousands of women who will have sex with them without any commitment or agreement whatsoever. And if all women band together tonight, today, going forward, and if they cut off sex, this would change men forever in how they treat and view sex. But in the meantime, until that ever happens, which it most likely won't because women, there's so many women to, willing to have sex. They're willing to give the milk for free without the guy buying the cow. I offer you this suggestion, the dating vow. Are you with me? Are you willing to do the dating vow going forward? I'm here to say, band together, ladies. Make this request. If a man genuinely likes you, if a man genuinely likes you, making this simple request isn't a big deal. But if, And by the way, I will say this. Sex is part of the decision-making process to be in a serious relationship. Let me be, let me, let me make this clear. I know many of you like the idea of waiting for marriage. That could be a recipe for disaster. If the guy has a small penis or he's shitty in bed or he premature ejaculates or he can't get a heart on. Uh, let me just say this. I'm not here to wait for sex. I'm just here to say before you have regular sex together, make a vow with one another. The guys, by the way, since 80% of men are users or dysfunctional or spenders, you're going to eliminate a lot of the wrong guys. But guess what? If a guy steps up, you have a greater chance of relationship success. And while this is going to turn off a lot of guys, I'm here to say, put your chastity belt on. Because wouldn't you want your daughters to do the same thing? And if there are any men watching, wouldn't you want your daughters to do the same thing? Or would you want people just to have cavalierly have sex? Because let me just tell you this, this cavalier casual dating process is an emotional clusterfuck. It's an emotionally, it is emotionally draining. We weren't designed to have so many partners over and over and over and over and over again. I'm not even partners, experiences, I should say. We weren't designed for this. So I'm here to offer a different way of looking at things. I'll tell you, my clients are, are experiencing, I'm, I'm getting phone call each week from clients who work with me telling me about amazing relationships they're in because they're doing the work both in their own individual life and they're standing up in their empowerment. And I'm here to yell at my top of my lungs to encourage you all to do the same. Are you with me? If you are, say, yes, Jonathan, I'm with you. All right, that's my rant really quickly on the, the dating vow and I hope it had value for you. And check out the links below to schedule a call with me or follow the, or purchase the books I recommend as well. All right, time to get started with questions. <laughs> 